Hello and Merry Christmas. Eric and I are joining a beautiful Christmas morning here in our home and uh, we wanted to bring you guys along as we do our Christmas traditions from making eggnog lattes in the morning which we'll show you how we make our eggnog lattes here and then also go get our Chinese food. We have the tradition of always getting Chinese food uh, on Christmas Day so come on. Our first tradition in our house is that in our nativity scene, we do not put baby Jesus out until December 25th when he was born. So Erica is in the process of putting baby Jesus out because he's the reason for the season. I know we've been mentioning that we drink a lot of eggnog lattes at night, so we wanted to show you how we go about making our eggnog latte. So what we normally do is use uh, regular eggnog. This is our favorite brand is this TG Lee, but you can use any uh, brand of eggnog that you want. And then the different uh, coffees that we use is we don't use espresso, we just use regular drip coffee. And we either use, in the morning, we use Cafe Verona from Starbucks, and we just make a pot of drip coffee or at nighttime, we use Pete's decaf, um, dark roast. This is the major Dickinson's blend. This is the one that Erica likes at nighttime and decaf so we can sleep. And the blend that we usually do is one and three fourths cup of eggnog to two cups of coffee. That's just the way that we like to make our eggnog lattes. In goes the eggnog. And since the eggnog is cold, we usually put it in a pot. And then we usually hit it, heat it over medium heat for about seven minutes to get it all nice and warm together. Because the eggnog is the eggnog's cold, but the drip pot is hot. So since we want it all to kind of like mellow together, we usually heat it up on the stove. So once I get it on to the burner and turn it on medium, I usually continuously stir or not continuously, but like every about 30 seconds I'll give it a stir so that it doesn't boil over. Because if you let this sit without stirring it, it'll boil over. So this is it. It's just a little to-go spot. They do have two tables inside, but we just order it to go and then we eat in the car since we're far from home and then we take all the leftovers back home. So yeah, definitely try it out if you're local to Florida or if you're vacationing here and it's near where you are because it's really good. Here's a look at the outside of uh, Coco's house. This is our favorite Chinese, like Erica mentioned, and it's just like a little spot inside that's just got two little tables and they just are in there cooking and we're waiting for our delicious food to come out. So this is the lunch portion of the chicken noodle and it comes with egg fried rice and then just the noodles with chicken. Then I got the same thing 
but instead of a chicken I did with veggies so you get broccoli instead of chicken basically and it still comes with the egg fried rice we obviously ordered too much food for us but it's Christmas so we figured why not and we'll have leftovers this is the Kung Pao chicken lunch portion and all their combo meals come with like the side of egg fried rice and then you can either get a drink or you can get an egg roll and we always go for the egg rolls more food we don't need the pop <laughs> here's a look at the menu so they have combo meals and these are like dinner prices Then they have Cajun and seafood, special combos, here's the lunch section, so like I said lunch um, goes from 10.30 to 3.30 and they're $9.95 and we always think that it's a really good portion size too for what you're getting. appetizers they got soups fried rice kids menu vegetable specials udon noodles they have hibachi you can get side orders and then some of their specials. Oops. Coco's specials. Well, that's going to do it for us for Christmas 2023. Thanks for hanging out with us as we made our eggnog lattes. And then we also decided to go get our Chinese food as our tradition. And uh, we just can't wait to see you around like a donut. Merry Christmas!